Greetings one and all, you are listening to the Wellesley Weekly Podcast, the show where I talk about anything and everything. I'm your host, John, aka Wellesley, and this is episode 30. How's everyone doing today? You doing good? I'm personally feeling rather lazy, to be honest with you. I came back to uni last week with the intention of catching up on all my deadlines, right? And to be fair, I did manage at the start of the week uh, to do a lot of stuff. I managed to get my gaming map sound effects almost completed. That's almost done. And um, my part of the reverb report's about halfway through. So, you know, I'm not doing terrible. But my motivation's kind of drifted off a bit towards the end. And I was a little naughty. I thought I'd take the weekend off. But that's fine, you know, because I've still got about two weeks to do it. So hopefully it'll all turn out fine. And we all need that sometimes. You know, just a day or two to ourselves. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about you days, or me days, or whatever you want to call them. You know, those days where you just need to be alone. A little bit of solitude never hurt anyone. And we really do need them. But before we get into that, my question for you this week is, what do you do on your days to yourself? Let me know down below in the comments, it'd be real nice of you. Oh, and please keep it PG, please. I don't need to know how intimate you are with areas where the sun don't shine. Mm, nah, I, d- I don't really want to know about that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't you worry your little head about it. It's better that you don't know, trust me. Right, so, getting back into things. What was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, you need time to yourself. Even if it's just 10 minutes, it can be relaxing. A chance to have a sigh of relief and just take a break from the world, you know? Because I don't know if it's just me, but life doesn't slow down ever, like... There's always something going on, whether it's deadlines at school or work, or having a dinner party you need to attend to, or a wall that needs painting or something, and you just don't have the time, you know, your attention is being pulled in about 10 different directions, and it's just a little hard to just take a break from it all. And I'm guilty for this, I don't slow down very often, to be honest. I don't like to slow down, because if I do, then I get this feeling that things won't get finished, or worse, I'll take a break, realise I have to do something, but, it, but then, like, put it off until I really, really have to. Like doing the washing and food shopping. But but this time alone can actually be a good thing. Provided you don't overdo it, of course. And I'll tell you why. So, I did a little digging into this idea of me time. And I found a lot of nonsense, to be honest. Lots of words about things that aren't really important. And it reminds me why I don't like reading. However, when I did find something interesting and useful, they were sort of all saying the same thing, right? And I'll narrow it it down to about three things. Well, it's more like two, but I like things in three, so we're having it in three. One, me days can help reduce stress. And that makes sense, you know. You switch off from your surroundings, essentially, and you try not to worry about what needs to be done, and you can essentially relax. It's like taking a holiday, only you're not on a beach getting a tan. Uh, But you relax, therefore you reduce the stress that's built up over days, weeks, or even months. You can let your hair down and drop your shoulders. You can even give a big sigh of relief if you want to. I do that quite a lot. If I've just spoken to someone I don't like or I've just got back from traveling, it's just a big... <sighs> it's, it's quite relaxing, to be fair. It, it's also helpful to release, like, bad energy and, you know, internal crap. Like, physically, like, a sigh of relief or deep breathing or whatever you want to do. Just something physically to, like, push it out, essentially. Uh, the second reason for having days to yourself is that it allows you to recharge physically if you're running around like a headless chicken all day and you keep up that non-stop for hours at a time of course you're going to get tired and you're going to need to recharge i know after a long day something that's really satisfying is taking my shoes off like it's a brilliant feeling because your feet are no longer trapped in those tiny little leather cages right ah oh, i imagine it's even worse for girls right when they weigh heels because i've tried some on before long story involving ice cream right but we won't get into that today <laughs> no, but heels hurt if you're wearing them for a long time. So if you're a girl or a guy and you're wearing heels for a very long time, I applaud you. If you're a bunch of crazy people, you know that because they hurt. They really do hurt. So a day to yourself can recharge your body. Maybe get a massage or do some stretches. Or my personal favorite, just sleep. Sleeping does you the world of good. It helps recharge your body physically, mentally, and it's just good fun, isn't it? Just go to your bed and just sink into it. No one's watching. Who cares? Just do it. 
And the final reason that me days are good for you is because of the fact that it recharges your mental state. Now, this is kind of like recharging yourself physically, but it's all in your head. So, stop thinking about Barry down the road pestering you about a bake sale. Forget Margaret at work, who's behind schedule because she's 100 years old and doesn't understand how emails work. Just sit back, relax, and let your mind drift wherever it takes you. If you want to read a book, do it. Want to shoot some people on Call of Duty? Pew pew away, my friend. Just do something that distracts you and lets you escape reality for a little bit. Because when you get back, you'll probably find you're more focused and level-headed and you can probably make better decisions and work harder than you did before. So, next time life's getting to you, just take a day off, have a me day. Or just have an hour to yourself, or even 10 minutes, just to be on your own. It will do you the world of good. And if it doesn't, well, I'm sorry I lied to you. I'll remind you that the question for today is, what do you do on your days to yourself? You can answer this by commenting down below, or you can go to my Facebook page, link in the description if I remember to do that, and I'll answer, and you can answer on there as well. Now, it'd be rather rude of me to ask you this question and not answer it for myself. So, I'm going to describe my perfect me day to you all, right? Are you ready for this? So, it all begins with staying in bed longer than I should. And I know it's wrong, but it just feels right. To stay there for an extra hour, and watch pointless YouTube videos that I just need to catch up on. Whether that's Yogcast, because I've watched their videos for years. More recently, uh, a guy called Mike Boyd, uh, he does videos where he learns like to do stuff over time and stuff, and he just records, you know, him learning it. It's actually pretty cool to watch, you know. He does stuff like um, breaking glass with his voice, spinning a book on his hand, spinning a ball, juggling, that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's pretty interesting. And he's got a Scottish accent, so, you know, he's pretty cool. Now, eventually, I'll get out of bed and I'll cook breakfast. Now, I don't usually like cooking, mainly because I burn everything, and I've almost set the house on fire about a dozen times. But turns out I'm actually all right at breakfast stuff believe it or not so I'm talking scrambled eggs and toast that's nicely browned not that anemic crap that people have my bread is actually toasted right and then you gotta have some bacon sausages hash brown if I've got them in and I never do it because uh, I can never find it but if there's some black pudding oh my god yes I will have it all of that with a cup of tea Ooh, just makes me mouth water just thinking about it. Oh, it really does. Oh, I'm actually really hungry now. I'm going to make some breakfast after this. Right, after eating the most important meal of the day, I'll probably do one of my little hobbies like playing guitar or doing a bit of sketching. Or more recently, I've been doing a bit more vector drawing online, which I think is all right, to be fair. Uh, I do a lot of character designs, and they're okay, I think. Everyone I've shown have said they look pretty cool, so I'll take their words for it. And I'll do all of this in my comfies, you know, my comfy clothes. Not wearing jeans, because there's, there's only so long you can wear skinnies before they start to get a little too snug for my liking. So, I'll wear my comfies, do my drawing or guitaring or whatever else I'm doing, just playing games and demolishing everything in my snack drawer, right? Yes, I have a snack drawer and you should too. And I'll tell you why. Food is good, right? It keeps you alive. So a snack drawer should be in every home, every room. Well, maybe not every room, actually. The bathroom would be a little bit weird, but every other room is acceptable. If nothing more, other than the fact you like to eat and it keeps you alive. I mean, why would you not? It, cr it sounds crazy not to have a snack drawer. I'm really surprised I'm not diabetic, to be honest, but yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'd eat all day if I could, if it didn't make me feel sick. And I have been known to do that as a child as well. Even now, my friends know that I have an appetite and I am usually eating. I remember this, um, <laughs> I remember this lecture we had. It was about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, my friend had bought me some Freddos because she's awesome, right? She was true to her word. She got me some Freddos. She's a gem. And about halfway through this lecture, my stomach starts to rumble. So I thought it'd be a good idea to put an end to it. So, I whipped out the Freddos and began munching on them, right? And I'm not rude and I'm not mean, so I offered, you know, some Freddos to my friends. And I don't know if it was just the fact that they were laughing at me 
Or maybe there was something in those photos. I don't know. Or maybe it was the fact that the room was completely silent. But all of a sudden, I just got the fit of the giggles during this lecture, right? And I don't think the lecturer even noticed. I mean, he probably did. It wasn't that big of a room. But I just couldn't stop laughing for about 10 minutes. Because I'm just sat at the back. Just nibbling on a Freddo. I don't know why. It just it just really made me giggle. It was the highlight of my week, to be fair. Like, getting Freddo's for free. That's always a good start. Then getting to eat said Freddo's. Brilliant. And also, just having a giggling fit. Because it's really fun to giggle. I mean, it's a shame I have no idea what that lecture was about, but, but life goes on. So, that's how I personally spend my me days. If you do something different, let me know down below. And it can be anything. Maybe you like to go on long walks on the beach, or stroke your pet guinea pig, I don't know. Anything you do on your me days or your you days. Uh, you can share them in the comments or on my Facebook page. And that's it for today's episode. I don't think I can say much else about the matter. So thank you for listening to today's podcast. I hope you've enjoyed what you've heard. And I'll see you all next week. And as always, enjoy your cuppa.